Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to your brothers laboring and pushing this word of truth and sincerity and maturity. I'm the brother Abraham from the camp here in GMN Chicago. Coming to do another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit. Lord willing to be edifying. And, uh, this video, I don't really have anything pretty much uh, on deck or prepared, but uh, today is uh, Christmas, right? Today is Christmas. Um, so I thought I'd just go over that, okay, and then also... Uh, all around the the U.S. has been uh, like record-breaking cold. Okay, over Christmas weekend, over uh, the Christmas holidays, um, which uh, yeah, it it was pretty cold, and you know this is a judgment from the Lord at the end of the day. Okay, um, you know, lots of flights got canceled, lots of travelers, uh, had to cancel or, um, you know, was stuck wherever they was, was at because they couldn't travel. Um, some people died from the cold. Uh, people were left without electricity, without power, without water. Um, so yeah, it's a judgment from the Lord at the end of the day, all right, because this is, this, these types of things are, it's not of the Lord, okay, it's not of the Lord. Um, let me go ahead and bring out Hosea 4 and verse 1, it says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth nor mercy nor knowledge of God in the land there is no knowledge of God in the land and this is why the Most High has a controversy with Israel okay the Most High has a controversy with Israel because um, there's no truth, there's no knowledge of the Most High, there's no mercy, alright, <clears throat> and what, we're supposed to be uh, dealing with truth, with the knowledge of the Most High, which is these, these words, these books, Okay, and our people are what, um, let's just go ahead and grab it, um, in Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, starting at the first verse, it says, Hear ye the word of the Lord, which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel, thus saith the Lord, Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Right? So, first part, learn not the way of the heathen. What's the ways of the heathen? A uh, perfect example is Christmas. <clears throat> okay? When you go into the origins of Christmas, origins of Christmas. Um, let's just see what this says here. The first one. Um, so this is from Voice and Visions Inc. dot org. A brief history of Christmas. 
the origins of Christmas stem from both the pagan and Roman cultures. The Romans actually celebrated two holidays in the month of December. The first was Saturnalia, which was a two-week festival honoring their god of agriculture, Saturn. On December 25th, they celebrated the birth of Mithra, the sun god, where cel celebrations were raucous, drunken parties. Also in December, in which the darkest day of the year falls, the pagan cultures lit bonfires and candles to keep the darkness at bay. The Romans also incorporated this tradition into their own celebrations. Uh, as Christianity spread across Europe, the Christian clergy was not able to curb the pagan customs and celebrations since no one knew Jesus' day of birth and they adapted the pagan ritual into celebration of his birthday. So <clears throat> they don't even know his own birthday, which he wasn't even born on December 25th. Um, but it all goes back into paganism and idolatry. Uh, so the Christmas trees, it says as part of the solstice celebration, the pagan cultures decorated their homes with greens in anticipation of the spring to come. Evergreen trees remain green during the cause and blah, 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 blah. The Romans also decorated their temples with fir trees during Saturnalia and decorated them with bits of metal. Um, let me see. Even records of the Greeks decorating trees in honor of their gods. Um, Santa Claus. Oh, and what's also interesting is uh, La Navidad. La Navidad, which was. Um, So La Navidad Columbus was a settlement that Christopher Columbus and his men established on the northeast coast of Haiti, near what is now Caracol, Nordest Department Haiti, in 1492 from the remains of the Spanish ship, the Santa Maria. So <clears throat> Columbus's first trip, right, uh, he brought three ships with him. One of the ships was called Santa Maria. All right, and La Navidad, which is Christmas, um, was their first colony established here in the Americas, which was uh, destroyed, right, by Jake. But point of it is, is uh, they called it La Navidad. Christmas and one of the ships that they came in was called the Santa Maria which that's what they call the Virgin Mary and Northern Kingdom especially Issachar has a, the heaviest demon on this holiday and on this idol okay because this is what they brought this is what they brought Christmas Christianity Santa Maria this is what they brought over here and now look at our people they're drunken but now we wine and they stagger but now we strong drink off of this uh doctrine that was shoved down our throats right so let me get this here or let me keep reading on this right verse 3 in jeremiah 10 for the customs of the people are vain 
for one cutteth a tree out of the forest the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. Okay. So that sounds exactly what people do during Christmas time, which is at the end of the day idolatry. And this is the same way they um they get the make the idols. This is the same way they make the idols. This is the exact same way they um do these customs of the people, the ways of the heathen. Alright? Which we're not supposed to do. We've been chosen to be separate, to to be holy, to be uh apart, set apart from the other nations, from the rest of the peoples. Okay? This is Psalms 106, verse 34. It says they destroy they did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works, and they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Okay, so this was uh this is specifically speaking of uh Israel when uh the Lord had told them to destroy the heathens out of the holy land and they didn't. Right? So what they mingled among those heathen nations and they learned their works and they served their idols this is why we're supposed to be apart this is why the lord ordered us to be separate because he knew that would eventually happen that we will serve their idols right if we were around them okay which was what a snare a trap to us okay and now what they're doing the same thing they're doing sacrificing their sons and their daughters unto devils Okay, spiritually. Okay, so let's go back to uh, Hosea 4, verse 6. Lachia, but this is uh, Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. So our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, right? Of this book of their God, right? Because if they had knowledge of their God, they would follow his law, his commandments. Do that all that is required of them, all right. But they rejected this. They didn't want to know this, right? And even now, are not his uh, prophets in the highways and byways making these videos every single day, and yet um, they don't want nothing to do with it. So what? Now the Lord's gonna reject them and their children. Okay. And the Mosa is not happy with this, man. With this whole Christmas shit because it's blasphemy at the end of the day. Okay? It's blasphemy. See, uh, they call it the birthday of the Messiah, which it's not even written. Alright? There's no December in the scriptures. Alright? Uh, and it's... More than likely, he, he was born in the springtime, right? Not in the winter time, all right? Because uh, the scriptures gave you the description during the time he was born, how uh, the uh, 
farmers or the husbandmen went out to uh, care for the sheep, cattle, and stuff like that, which you wouldn't be able to do that too much in the winter time. All right. And like I said, there's no December in the scriptures. They doesn't say it was born on the 25th day of this month. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't say those things. All right, and then you have what they call New Year's, which is not the New Year's because uh, first they don't um, tell time the correct way. They go by the solar calendar. How many times uh, the earth goes around or the sun go around the earth, right? Instead of the lunar calendar, which was how we observe time, the scriptures all the way back to the Genesis and right tells us that uh, the lights of the heavens or be for times and seasons and feasts right which is the what the moon the stars the constellations stuff like that um that's how we would tell time and esau doesn't tell time like that and at one point uh we time was told through the lunar calendar but it was changed to the gregorian calendar uh which who did that esau Right. See, a new year doesn't begin in the middle of winter where it's just no, really no life. Um, you know, in the middle of the cold, little sun, sunshine. Okay. Uh, the new year begins in the springtime where um, it's feels like everything springs out where life springs out the sun is out more right uh, the flowers and the plants and the trees and the leaves start to grow All right that's when the new year starts okay let's get uh, to change times I hope it will come up right yeah this is Daniel 7 and 25 and he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until the time of times and the dividing of times right so this man right shall think to change times and laws, which he did, you know? The time in which, uh, you know, time is told and, um, you know, all of this is, uh, is changed, right? Esau did that. <clears throat> So whatever time it is or date, you know who really knows what it, what it is. Okay. So um, let me see. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, pretty much it, you know, don't really, didn't really have too much, but since, uh, you know, record-breaking colds that really fucked up Esau's holiday and the spirit of the holiday is really dead as well, you know, um, the mirth and the spirit of America and everything it stands for is dying down. Is being brought low. And this is all the Lord's doing. Alright. Things ain't the same anymore, man. Alright. And now, what? Well, we're about to enter into a whole new year. 
right? This year went by so, so fast, and now we have another year to look forward to, right? Which we know is going to bring in a whole bunch of things. It's going to, you know, prophecy is going to pop off the pages as it's not, like, if it's not already. So things are about to speed up a whole lot more, man, and, you know, the, the, the new year, Esau's new year always starts off with a bang uh, these last few years. So we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll keep an eye out because it's our job. We're with the watchmen of the Lord. So I'm going to go ahead and it there. Lord willing, this video was edifying. As always, our honor, glory, and praises goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Until next time, Shalom.